Hey guys, for today I'd like to share with you a little bit about intern year, and this is your first year of residency. So in the US, if you wanna be a doctor, you usually do four years of college followed by four years of medical school. And upon graduation in May or June, you take a vacation and then you start residency on July 1st. Medical school is for exposure to a broad range of topics in medicine, but residency is where you get further training in a specific branch of medicine. And so most people after graduation of medical school, they do residency and your first year of residency is called intern year. Now you may have seen interns depicted in TV shows like ER, Grey's Anatomy, in a humorous light. And that's because that interns are the youngest doctors in the hospital and they are the least experienced. But I remember when I was in medical school, as a medical student, we were assigned to an intern when we were on our medicine rotations. And my classmates and I, we were really impressed with the interns that we were assigned to. And that's because they knew so much about the patients they were taking care of. They're the ones putting in the orders, uh, checking up on the patients frequently, and um, in times of emergency situations, they were usually the first doctor or one of the first doctors on site helping to take care of the patient. So intern year is a very challenging year, but it's a great learning experience and it's a great year. And for me, I did my intern year a few years back and I did it in general surgery and that's because I wanted to go into thoracic surgery. But uh, anybody who wants to be a surgeon, and it doesn't matter if you want to do cardiothoracic or neurosurgery or orthopedics or urology or transplant surgery, just anything that's involving surgery, you will usually do a general surgery internship. And in this internship, there are important goals you're trying to accomplish. So the first one is learning how to take care of patients on the floor and to build up your medical knowledge. And that's because a lot of the patients who need surgery, they have medical problems like heart disease and diabetes. And so you'll need to know how to take care of a patient if they're having a heart attack or stroke, or they can't breathe because they have clots in their lungs. It's called a pulmonary embolism. And oftentimes the treatments for those types of medical problems don't involve operations. It involves knowing your medications, knowing how to manage fluids and electrolytes, and uh, knowing which antibiotics to prescribe or not to prescribe. And that is uh, traditionally what you did as an intern. That's all you did was just stay on the floors and take care of the patients and really build your fund of knowledge medically. I remember as a medical student on the surgery rotations, I was really impressed with surgeons in that they seem to know a lot about medicine and not just how to operate. So, uh, but nowadays there's also a, a trend and a focus on trying to get interns into the operating room early on, getting them operative experience, doing simpler procedures like taking out the appendix, uh, which is called an appendectomy or gallbladder, which is called a cholecystectomy or some colon surgery. Uh, maybe some colon uh, cancer surgery, but usually not, usually more hernia repairs and uh, some partial mastectomies or some, some of the simpler breast cancer operations. And so my friends and I and my program and others, we usually do about 120 to 250 cases as an intern. And that's been um, a, a relatively recent development, trying to get interns more operative experience. Uh, the third thing is, uh, making sure you get um, trained properly. And so there are teaching conferences, assigned reading, and also a lot of time in the simulation center. So uh, focus on trying to get you uh, comfortable with operations on simulators before you actually have to do them in the operating room. And, and also, making sure, so as an intern, you are a doctor and you're taking care of the patient, but you're always part of a broader team. And so you have senior residents who are you're going over the plans with, as well as with attendings. And so the patient, they're gonna have you as a doctor, but they're gonna have uh, a senior doctor or several senior doctors as doctors too. And you're part of this team and very getting very close supervision. And that's been a big, focus of residency training as well, making sure interns don't feel lost or uh, alone. So that's all I got for today. I'm going to share with you a little bit more about the specific rotations in another video, but I hope you're having a great summer and I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks.